Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. I decided to be festive today and wear my orange shirt and try to make something I've never made before. Um, we're gonna attempt to make pumpkin cream cheese bars. But I did make a couple of tweaks to the recipe just because I know my personal taste, so we'll see how it turns out. It's good to you. I'll put it in the description box below. Um, leave me a comment and let me know what kind of pumpkin recipes you like. And we go to make the pumpkin cream cheese bars. The first step is making the filling. I added in eight ounces of cream cheese that was softened for a couple of hours before I put it in there just to make it less lumpy. And then I added in a quarter cup of sugar. And for me, I like the cream cheese to be a little sweeter. So the next thing that I added in is another quarter cup, but this time I chose to put in powdered sugar. So that is an option. Um, that's just something optional that you can add in. And the recipe also calls for one whole egg, so we add that in the mixer. And then after that, um, I put in a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. You could put in a little bit more uh, if you wanted to, if you'd like a little bit more of an intense flavor. Um, I chose to, to keep it as a half a teaspoon at this time. Here's where I added in some optional items. I put in a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and a half a teaspoon of ground cloves. Again, they're both optional. It wasn't called for in the recipe, but I knew that I wanted the cream cheese to be a little bit more flavorful and fall-like. And I just started mixing it up. batter you put in a cup of pumpkin puree but it's not the the sweet pie filling it's just the puree so it's um, just pure pumpkin basically and then you add in a cup of sugar and then after that you add in an egg and you could probably start the mixer at any time, getting these to all come together. I also added in a third of a cup of vegetable oil. And then you can start adding in a cup of flour. And this is all just for the batter that goes in the bottom of the pan. So here, put in a half a t one and a half teaspoons of the pumpkin pie spice, one teaspoon of the baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and one half teaspoon of salt, just to give it some more flavor. So then I sprayed a 9 by 13 baking pan with cooking spray. I use a ceramic 9 by 13, so we really don't need to do that, but um, I just do it just to make sure that nothing sticks for sure. And you just spread in the batter evenly. It's not very thick, um, so you don't have to worry about that. And then you get out the filling that you made earlier and you just plop it into the top of the batter that you just made. And I was trying to be all neat and line them up, but you really don't need to do that. And I actually had more batter or more filling than I thought. Um, so <laughs> then you're supposed to take a knife and run it through and um, make a marbled effect. I don't know how well I did any of that, but I did my best. There was a lot of filling in there, so I was kind of surprised that, you know, 
what there was to work with. And you're supposed to go back and forth, up and down. And then we should be good to go to put it into the oven. You bake it at 375 degrees for 25 to 28 minutes. Just depends on your oven and also the type of pan that you're baking. It's time to eat. No, really, you have to let it cool. Especially using a ceramic pan, it takes a while for it to cool down. But it doesn't look so pretty. <laughs> the pumpkin cheesecake rolls are done. I am not sure what I think about how they look. They aren't exactly pretty, but we'll see how they taste. Mm. They surprisingly taste good. The cheesecake is very flavorful, and it actually turned out pretty good. I, I'm quite pleased with it. It's very moist. It doesn't look like it would be very moist. Um, it's very pumpkin-y. It's not overly sweet either. It's very, it's just a nice pumpkin dessert. I mean, I wouldn't mind some whipped cream and maybe some chopped pecans or walnuts or something on top. I think that would finish it off nicely. But it's a very easy recipe. Um, if I can do it, you can do it. Let me know in the um, comments section below if there are any desserts that you like to make this time of year. I would love to hear. And um, if you decide to give this a try, please let me know that as well. Let me know if you change it or if you keep it the same. Um, and I would just love to hear from you. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this. And I'm about to go finish this off. I don't think you'd want to sit here and watch me eat the rest of it. So I will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.